Eric Kendricks is a linebacker who had a solid season for the Chargers and been one of the better linebackers in the NFL while playing for the Vikings. He originally agreed to the 49ers, but catching him with a stiff arm, he ended up choosing the Cowboys, being our first free agency signing this season that we absolutely needed. With a guy like Kendricks being coached under Zimmer, sometimes you feel comfortable playing for a coach who understands details and brings the best out of you. He even said that this was an opportunity that he couldn't pass up, and he is very happy with his decision. So when you're taking a look at a guy like Eric Kendricks, we know that this guy was a pro bowler. He was a first team all pro. And he was one of the guys that was drafted in the second round back in 2015. And he was one of the staples in the Minnesota Vikings defense with Mike Zimmer. And then he went on to the Chargers and had a solid season. But the good thing about this guy being instinctive, having size and knowing what everybody's supposed to do on the defense, it's hard to be able to find players like this. So I think that this guy is going to be a solid addition to the linebacker room. So in this play here is going to be a run to the left side. But seeing guys like Kendricks going out there and being able to meet this guy at the hole and that offensive lineman trying to get down to the second level but Kendricks using his hands and being able to gain leverage and close in and make the play you like to be able to see these type of plays when it comes down to the linebacker position because you don't want these guys trying to play bully ball you got to go out there and set the tone so let's run it keying in on Kendricks just watching this guy extend his left arm just to be able to get away from that offensive lineman all it takes is just one certain move dropping your shoulder square and thumping this guy. And it's good to be able to see this when it comes down to the linebacker position. If you can be able to get away from these offensive linemen, setting the tone and letting these guys know that it is not going to be easy for these guys throughout the game. And the good thing is whenever you can be able to have a linebacker that can be able to extend his arms and make a play like this, it's always good to be able to get things going. Being a solid linebacker in the NFL, you have to be fully aware of what these offensive linemen are trying to do. Ezekiel Elliott, he's going to be running to the left side but when you see the center, he's going to try to attack Kendricks. But seeing what Kendricks was able to do, just being able to spin off and attack this guy in a C gap, it's great to be able to see these type of reps because we know that these offensive linemen, they're going to try to get their hands on you, whether it's outside of his shoulders or inside their pecs. Sometimes the referee, they don't catch things. But seeing this guy being able to just be slippery and get away from this center and attack Ezekiel Elliott and make the play, it's always great to see these type of reps from this linebacker. So we'll go ahead and spin it. So just watching that offensive lineman chip and try to get to the second level, wrap his arms around Kendricks, but Kendricks was able to disengage, spin, and lock in on Ezekiel Elliott. It's good to be able to see this because the thing is you don't want to get engulfed by these offensive linemen. You got to be able to keep balance. You got to be able to just flip your hips and do little things like that. That can be the biggest determining factor of the play. This guy going out there and closing in and making the tackle. And the good thing is you want to see linebackers that can be able to do that because the thing is with Mike Zimmer's type of defense, they will have those guys hugging in between the A-gaps. So you want to be able to use your hands. You want to be able to spin and get slippery, close in and finish the play because that is what brings the best out of Mike Zimmer's defense. And this was another one of those good reps. So playing that linebacker position, not only do you want guys to read and diagnose, roam sideline to sideline, but you want these guys to go out there and get after the quarterback. And last year, he graded at 82.5 pass rush grade and i've seen that a lot whether if it was getting a sack or a pressure it's awesome to be able to see these type of plays because it gives the quarterback something else to think about so we're going to run it just watching kendrick's you see that he's trying to get small he runs a certain way whenever he's trying to close in he wiggles his body and he keeps his arms close to each other i will show you guys more reps of that but just being able to get away from that would-be blocker and close in and lock in on the quarterback and you see that right arm sticking out like that? That reminds me of a shark fin that's lurking on the attack. And this guy went out there and closed in and made the play. And this was absolutely a great rep because the thing is, when you've got a linebacker that can be able to get skinny and close in and make a play Cowboys Nation, it is always good to see. So being a linebacker who can not only move well, but have the instincts to be able to hunt and lurk on a ball carrier, this type of play gives off that shark type of energy, having the ability to pitch you in deep waters and drown you.
With Eric Kendricks, I watched all his plays throughout his whole 2023 season, and they actually graded him a 62.1 in coverage. I did see some bad plays, but I seen a lot of good plays as far as coverage, so you have to be able to take these numbers with a grain of salt. But the thing that he does have to work on is not trying to be overly aggressive sometimes because these offenses, they try to do misdirection plays and it will catch you off guard. So you got to pay attention to things like this, drag plays and plays that are trying to get guys in space. So we'll go ahead and spin it. So those guys, they're faking the ball to the right and watching guys like Kendricks, he's so locked in on the running back. He's not paying attention to that wide receiver that's going across the field. And the thing is, all it takes is a few seconds for the quarterback to be able to see that. So you don't want things like this to happen. I mean, this guy was like 10, 15 yards away from him. You got to pay attention to what everybody's doing, not only the running backs. If you're assigned a wide receiver, if he's running the drag route in your zone, you got to make sure that you're on top of things like that. But I think with Mike Zimmer, he's going to put this guy in position to make sure that plays like this don't happen. So here's another play right here where they're running the Texas route. And this is money when it comes down to this type of running back going up against a guy like Kendricks in space. You want to make sure that you pick this guy in the right position. Not saying that this guy was doing this all throughout the 2023 season because he was making a lot of good plays. But I do want to show y'all some of the bad plays he made. But just seeing all his plays throughout the whole season, he was making a lot of good plays in coverage and they graded him low. The only questions that I have is the drag routes, the Texas routes, pretty much the routes that forces this guy into space. So with Mike Zimmer, you got to make sure that you're on top of it. If you got to put it in a linebacker on certain downs, that's always good. But being able to stop certain pass plays, we got to make sure that we scheme this guy right. So here's another play right here where they're going to be running a stretch to the left side. But seeing guys like Kendricks, the way that this guy was able to read what these guys were doing and just get small again, I want you guys to see what this player can be able to do, being able to read this play and going out there and finish. So we'll go ahead and run it. So just watching these guys running a stretch play and just seeing a linebacker just going out there and being patient. He's wiggling his body. It's so good to be able to see this on all 22, just to see this guy's behavior when the play is happening right at him and going out there and understanding run fits and finishing the play. And the good thing is a lot of these guys that I've seen from the Chargers and the Minnesota Vikings, they spoke highly of him. He's one of the players that really feels comfortable playing that Mike position, just being able to read and diagnose. And that's exactly what this guy did all throughout the 2023 season. So when you're thinking about a guy like Eric Kendricks and what he can be able to do in our defense, you can utilize this guy roaming sideline to sideline. He has the ability to be able to get after the quarterback. He's a true green dot guy who's going to be playing the mic in this defense. And with guys like Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence, he could bring the best out of those guys. And this defense isn't far away, but there's things that they have to clean up. Going out there and drafting a guy, kind of sort of like how it's going to be with the running back position. If we bring in a veteran like a Ezekiel Elliott or anybody that's out there, you want to be able to draft a guy just like the linebacker position. So the Cowboys got a lot of work to do, but bringing in a guy like Ken Hendricks, that could be a good start. So comment below Cowboys Nation and let me know y'all thoughts on this linebacker and if this guy can be able to go out there and make a difference this season. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't hit it, you'll miss on fire live streams and unique breakdowns. All right, Cowboys Nation. Talk to y'all soon. Gone.